this is how you uh, work with Mo instance. First, let's create an object. Let it be a cube. Reduce its size as usual, and create a demo instance from uh, the cloner menu or the Mo graph menu. Select the Mo instance and then put the cube as a child of the Mo instance. Now we have to animate the Mo instance, not the object. So for that, we're not gonna animate it manually. We're just gonna put a vibrate tag by right clicking, going to animation tags and choosing vibrate and uh, it's a random uh, vibration so we enable position and put 500 on each axis uh, to animate it 500 centimeters now if you go back and play the animation you'll see this is what the more instance does so it looks let's give ourselves more frames so go back and animate it again play the animation again it looks at uh, where the Mo instance was and creates an object at each frame. So if you select the Mo instance, now go to object. The, uh, that is controlled by the history depth. So if you increase the history depth, the, mo the, the, the more you increase it, the more objects will be created because the more frames there will be. So uh, this is how it looks. Now let's put it back to 10. Go back to the beginning. You can also affect the Mo instance uh, by effectors. So you know, let's and the best effector to do that is a uh, step effector. So while the Mo instance was selected, I created the step effector, and you can affect the scale of the of the clones. So go to parameter and change the scale to negative one. That means reduce the size to uh, negative one. Uh, which means the uh, trail of, of object will be tapered off like this. And uh, you can also obviously affect the rotation of the objects. Let's see what that does. Let's change the rotation on all axes. And this is what you will get. This is a very cool effect.